This is very exciting. I did not know that I would be this excited. I see accessories. If you're curious what the Hobonichi store has of accessories in their store, um, keep on watching because this is just ridiculous. Welcome to this video. This is my first video actually sharing my face. So hello, nice to have you. I just received my order from Hobonichi. It's a huge order. I think there's three or four boxes in here. A few things before we head in um, that I wanted to share. I've never had an actual Hobonichi item in my hands. This will be a true first impressions. The reason for this box being so big, even though it's my first order, is I live in Denmark, in Europe, and <laughs> I could either, well, if I had wanted to try just, for example, the cousin by itself, I could have ordered it on Amazon and it would be fine. But when I order from Japan, I will pay a lot in shipping and taxes, and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I didn't purchase before. But then when I purchase now, I wanted everything at once because then it it's cheaper than ordering several times. So that's why this is so huge, even though I have never had one of their products in my hands. I want to get the full experience. I've ordered covers and I've ordered accessories, the books of course, and I just wanted the full experience. I wanted to give it a fair shot at actually being a success. I don't know if you're interested in shipping information. I paid around 75 euros for shipping, including their small handling fee, which is about four euros. And um, I ordered last Saturday, today's Monday. So last Saturday I ordered, it was shipped Wednesday and now it's Monday and it just came. So it just came today, a few hours ago. I'm, I had to put my son down and stuff. So he's sleeping and I'm hoping he'll take the longest nap ever so I can really dive into this. I see no papers regarding um, the Danish taxes. So I'm curious to see if that comes like through email from FedEx or if it's actually packed in here. I think these tapes are from customs opening the box. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. As I said, I've never ordered from Hobonichi before. I actually don't really order on the internet at all. I like going to a physical shop. Um, yeah. This is very exciting. I did not know that I would be this excited, but when the box actually came, I was so disappointed Friday and when it actually came, I was like, oh, we're doing this now. Can't wait till tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. I should have brought up a big, ooh, what's going on in here? I thought the boxes would be sitting. Oh, haha. <laughs> I see accessories. There's one, two, three bags of accessories. That's exciting. And then there is two boxes in here. So this is the box. I'm so excited. And they're both heavy because I ordered a lot. Boom! I wanna do the boxes first. I was, I was thinking for a moment maybe to open the accessories first, but I wanna see the actual books. books. I'm excited. Take a sip of tea. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to say also, I think one of the reasons why I bought this year and haven't done it before, I probably looked on their website when they release for three or four years and wanted something every year, um, but never ordered. I think one of the reasons that I decided to order this year is because of the theme and the free gift that they have. Not that the free gift matters much to me, but when they have random small gifts that I know I won't use, 
I feel kind of bad ordering because I'm not going to use it. But I heard you can ask them to leave it out. Um, and then also the theme of this year is handwriting. And I am... Um, Handwriting is so important to me and my mental health, and it really spoke to me. And this quote, I love it. Um, you write, you draw. As you move your hand, the lines start running. With the running lines, our minds sprint. Handwriting means letting your mind take off. And that's, it speaks so much to me. I'm gonna write that, I think, in my journal. Okay, so I'm gonna take everything out as you watch and I'm gonna tell you what it is and then I'm gonna sort everything into piles and then go through the items with you as I open them. So first thing we have here are some cover on covers. I have three in the size A6 for the original size and then I have two for the weeks. I did not get two weeks. I bought an extra. I'll explain why. Um, and then the first cover is right here. Yeah, first A6 cover and second A6 cover. Third and last A6 cover. Wow, they're pretty. I don't like pink, but this pink is actually okay. I don't think I would like to look at it every day, but um, it's not bad. Oh wow, I didn't even realize this. All of them are blue. Okay. Oh, more accessories. So these are some different pens. I'm going to open all the accessories together. So we'll just put those over here. I got the drawer pouch. I did not know that this was a thing before I went in to look at what to actually order when I decided to order this year. Um, so this was kind of an impulse buy, but I, it's not an impulse bias and I decided right before I ordered it. It's an impulse bias and I didn't think that, I didn't know they had this, so I didn't know I was going to order it. But all of these things that I've bought, I've thought about for weeks. And that's also why it's so late, this unboxing, because I've really been taking my time and I'm, I've like used hours to find out what to um, order. So here we have some A6 stuff. I have two, it felt different. <laughs> I have two of the day free, day free version. And then I have one of the notebooks. And then, so like these three books are what goes into the covers. And then I have uh, a memo pad in the A6 size. And then, haha, <laughs> this I'm really excited about. I bought the Weeks Mega sneaker. Is that what it's called? Oh, I'm forgetting. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this out because I've not seen this in many unboxings. I think I've seen it in one or two. So that is really exciting. That was the first box. Second box, I assume it's gonna be the A5, which is the most important part. Ooh, sorry about the camera walking. Mm. I see the food I pan. Exciting. Okay, so I should have three, yeah, again, three cover on covers. I'm gonna put this 
over here and make an A5 pile right here. Then, haha, one at a time. So I bought the A5 cover, the basic one that's just black and blue. I don't remember the name. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited to set this all up. Then I bought Field of Flowers. We can look more at it when it's out of the plastic. There's a spot on it. Oh, and this one is what I have been the most curious about actually having in my own hands. The Memoria cover. I'm really excited to touch this. Wow, I could look at that for minutes. For the A5 size books, I bought three different ones. I bought the cousin, which is gonna be my main planner. And then I bought um, the day free version to go with it. And then I bought uh, the notebook, which is gonna be an extra thing. So these three books will go into the three covers. Yes. And then I have five of the free pen. Oh. oh, wow, I'm really excited also to open all the accessories. There's a lot of accessories that looks crazy. If I had, a, I'm filming on my phone too, but if I had a phone, I would take a picture of this because that's crazy. I don't think I've seen an unboxing with that many accessories in. I don't know what to do first. I think as I've never had, like I've never felt the Tomoe River paper, I think I want to open the cousin first and like take all the A5 stuff first. Um, let me put this to the side because I want the cousin to be my first like real experience. This is so exciting. When the package actually came today, like a few hours ago, I was like, this is actually happening. Like, I, I've, I've been wanting to buy from Hobonichi for so many years. And then I was actually buying and it was like a little bit of understanding that it's gonna happen. But when the package was here, I'm like, that stuff that I ordered, that I spent so many hours trying to decide on what to buy and what not to buy that's actually sitting right there on my dinner table and I can open it. That was, wow. And I, now I have it in my hands. I can't really believe it. <laughs> I know it's just a planner, but I've been wanting to try this for so many years and I never have. And I, I just, I went full in, all in. Okay. So, to get the full experience, I'm going to open this. The other years, I've seen unboxings from the other years, and it's usually a lot smaller and usually only in Japanese. Um, and I'm not really into the manga and the, the mother to game or I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, that's not what I'm into. I'm really into functional planning and yeah, I can, I'll talk more about that in other videos. But like the, the fun part of Hobonichi, which I love about the brand, doesn't really speak to me in a way that I'm going to use it. I like the branding that they do and I like them as a company that they, like they, it really makes them stand out from other companies. Um, but yeah, so like, I'm not gonna use a lot of this, but I wanted to see it. And I'll look at it properly after I'm done filming. Right, Amanda? You're gonna, you're gonna, gonna set it aside. Okay. Wow. 
this is exactly what I thought it was would, would feel like. Maybe I, I heard some people talk about it being really heavy. So I imagine it being even heavier. But the color and the sharp edges and everything is just as I imagined. Okay. Oh wow, that's really thick. This is way thicker than I imagined. That's nice. Okay, for the sake of keeping the binding well, I'm just gonna try and... Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna ruin the binding. This is helping the binding settling in. I do this with my Loach Term and Moleskin journals too when I buy them. The first time I open them, just kind of help it open up gently. And it lays flat. I'm really curious about these, what they are actually saying. I imagine they are not on every page. So, People was talking about how this feels like Bible paper. It's thicker than my Bible paper, for sure, but not much. Wow, I like the color of the paper. And I love that this planner has grid. I think that's a huge part of why I want to try it, and it really speaks to me. So if you, if you watch any of my videos before, you know that I'm currently in a bullet journal. Um, and this layout is what I've been trying to do, but this, this is more paper than I'm used to having. Like it's wider, so I can write more here and I love that part. And actually, I thought that the colors here would um, bother me, but it's grown on me, not right now while having the planner, but through all the years that I've known that this was a thing. I especially like this blue color. What month is it? July. So the entire page is this blue color. Not just the tabs, like the grid and everything. Okay. I'll do a quick pen test at the ending just to get the full first impressions. Okay. Then let's go with the day free. So this is way thinner, less than half the size, I would say. Um, and it's the same setup, same paper, except after you have the intro pages and stuff, after the monthly pages, it goes straight into notes pages. So it has until March 2022. And then it's just grid pages for the rest of the book. And that's what I wanted. And they're numbered. That's really nice. Yeah, so this was perfect for what I'm going to use it for. That's exciting too. And this one... I have been trying to find a notebook or a notepad or a system for, for my Bible studies. And I tried a lot of different things, um, but I felt like getting a cover and a notebook to do it in there and that that would make the time even more special. Not that God is not special in himself, um, but it would encourage me even more to study my Bible. So that is what this book is going to be used for. So it's just blank grid pages. If you want to see anything regarding that, just let me know. I would be happy to share. Okay, which one do we do first? I think I'm going to go with the basic first, um, just because then I have something to compare it to. So this is the most cheap um, A5 cover that they have in the store. 
there was none of the colors that really spoke to me, so I just went with the... I'm not much of a color person anyway. Yeah, I thought black would be nice, and then if one year there is a cover on cover with a motif that speaks to me, then it would probably be nice to have a black cover to put it on top of. And then I like blue. Okay, so this material is basically plastic. It feels really sturdy, it feels like it would be kind of easy to wipe off. Um, durable, like it's gonna last for years. I like how flat it actually is. It's not bulky in itself. So there's for your journal here, for your book, and then pocket, pocket, and then the pockets you see here. And then it comes with, thank you for choosing the Hobonichi Techo as your paper companion for next year. You're welcome. I'm excited too. Um, it speaks about how to take care of the textile, the cover. Okay, so now we have something to compare to. This is, if I remember correctly, made of the same thing, but I expect the front to feel different just from looking at the photos on the website. Yep, there is a spot, but the book is gonna cover that. These um, bookmarks are really nice. I heard so many people say, oh, they're nice. And I was like, how nice can they be? It's bookmarks, but they are nice. <laughs> um, I really like green. This green I'm not super fond of, but I like green as a whole, so it's not bad. There's um, a little saying here about the designer. And then again, how to take care of it. So I'm gonna put those up here. Yeah, it definitely feels different. Let's push this up a bit. This almost feel like, feels like a fabric. Now I'm starting to wonder if it actually is fabric. And it feels a lot different than the other one. This one has a pocket. The standard is that their covers do have a pocket, but some of some of the covers don't have a pocket. It's just part of that design. This one, for example, does not have a pocket. As I said earlier, pink is not really a color that really I like, but there was a lot of yellow and with the greens and everything, I thought that it would be nice to look at and, and calming to look at. I think I really like it. It's nice. It's called Field of Flowers, by the way. And it, it was not much more expensive than this one. They were really close in price. And then... So this cover is the most expensive single item that I bought from the store. Oh, it feels really nice. I've never covered my journals. Like, I've never had covers on my planners. So this is also new to me. Again, something about Mina, who designed it. I like a lot of her stuff on their website. So the pocket configuration is exactly the same here, but it feels really nice. And then the outside. This pattern is just beautiful to me, really beautiful. I like the texture of the woven fabric and then even the color changes inside of the stamp. And I'm really struggling to decide on whether or not to put a cover on cover on this because I want to feel it. It feels so, so nice and I'm not going to take it out of the house as a regular thing. I'm really happy about this cover. This was the most expensive item and I'm not disappointed and I'm really looking forward to using it. Wow, it is really beautiful. So then we just have, ooh, three of these. 
cover on covers. So you put a cover on your cover. Um, so it's protected and you can wipe it off. It will look like this. And you can even put something inside here if you wanted to personalize the cover. And then they have a zip lock here. So you can access the back pocket. So that is all of the A5 size products. So, yay! And the cousin. Oh, I'm so excited to get to play with all of these things. Okay, let's do A6 next. We'll change this around. Oh. So, I'm gonna quickly go through the books first, I think. I'll take this as part of the accessories. So I got the Day Free, which is the exact same as the A5. So this has, just as the other one, the yearly, year at a glance. This one has a month on two pages. So all the days down here. So you, you're missing the note thing at the end and this is way smaller. And then, it goes um, from the December the year before to the March and to March the year after, whereas the A5 only has for the year that the journal is covering. And then you have from December to March again, I believe, yeah. Like that. This is a really nice size. I've never been in a planner this small. The smallest I've been planning in are personal rings, and that's small to me. So I'm excited to try this out. I have a specific purpose for it, and I think it will it'll probably, probably work out great. So the rest is just notes pages, and there's a nice little, I don't know what to call that, flip book thing there. Yes, so that is the day free. I'll not open the other one. And then you have the notebook, which is exactly as the um, A5 version, just smaller. And one thing I like about Hobonichi 2 is that their grid is not 5x5 five five millimeters like a lot of the other standard. Um, look at this. It's laying flat like that. That's amazing um, their grid is smaller so it's it varies for a few of their planners i know the grid is i think smaller in the weeks that i'm going to show you next um, compared to the cousin that i showed you first but it's both of them are smaller than the regular grid you find in a lot of a lot of other planners like the large term and the moleskin and such it fits me really well because i write really small so this will be really nice. Yes. And then the covers. I'm not talking about how I'm going to use the planners in this video because it would it's already going to be really long, I know. Um, due to the amount of stuff we have here and due to me not being like, I, I don't want to rush through it. I want to experience this. Um, but I will say that two of these are gifts and also two of these. Um, and I'm, I'm going to set it up for the, the persons. So that's why I'm allowing myself to unwrap it. These are really cool. I like, I, I'm not a person who usually like a lot of colors, but I like these colors. I like the yellow bright color. I like the combination of these like baby blue and baby pink. And this one is the one that I'm gonna keep. I wish this was more red, less pink, but I like it, especially with the blue color. And it's very compact and I like that. Okay, so. 
These two you will not see anymore on my channel. They are going into storage and I will play with them um, and protect them till I'm giving them away. Of course, with two of these. So these are the exact same thing as the A5 size. A cover on cover so you put this around the cover so one a6 planner for me to try out I did I, I did want to try one because I've never planned in that size um, I'm gonna use it as a project planner I wanted to try all the different sizes from Hobonichi so that's part of my excuse for buying this Okay, yeah, A5 is my regular planning size, so that was not such a big surprise to me. And then we have weeks. This I'm probably most curious about, as I said, um, because I haven't seen them in a lot of videos. The weeks are still, I would say, a pretty new product on the Hobonichi line. Um, there's a regular one, which is a hardcover. It's the same size as this, but it's a bit bigger because of the cover. I haven't looked up if they're the same size, but I'm assuming that the paper inside is the same size because I, I've noticed how the cover of the regular ones overhang. And I think that is what makes this a bit shorter uh, than the normal one. Then they came out with a Weeks Mega, which is um, the same thing just has more note, note, notes, pages in the back. Then you can get them in a soft cover, I think only the regular weeks. And then you can get the mega as this um, style, which is called sneakers. And the reason why I decided to go with this one was actually not because it's a mega, but because I hope that this will lie flat easier than the other ones. Um, that was the only reason why I decided to go with this instead of any of the other weeks. It's very small. It's like the size of my hand. This is probably the planner that I'm gonna use that I'm most curious to see how it will work for me because of how the layout is on the inside. All the weeks come with this um, secretarial pocket that you can paste in wherever you want. And then the sneakers, these, uh, the normal weeks have bookmarks in them too, but this does not, probably because of the binding and the cover. And so instead you get these repositionable tabs that I've never tried, obviously. And then I don't know if this is just packaging or if it's actually Tomo River paper but it looks really white compared to this one. And actually the paper in the weeks is a bit more yellow than it is in the other planners because the way Hobonichi has intended for you to use the weeks is like on the go planner um, that you might use outside too. And then because of the sun and the light, they have darkened or like made the paper more yellow so that it wouldn't be so hard for your eyes to look at. Um, and as I'm opening this, I'm thinking that it will probably lie more flat than the other versions. But I did not buy more than one week. I wanted to, but I had to save somewhere and stop myself somewhere. Um, otherwise, I would have bought a regular week's too, just a basic one. And the price of this one, even though it's a mega, is actually the same as the cheapest regular weeks. So that's really interesting. I don't know if it's because of the cover, that the cover on the regular ones is more expensive to produce or whatever, like it lays flat already. Look at that. That's so nice. I wanted that. Um, so the weeks is, as you can hear from the name, just a planner 
where you plan in the form of weeks. So you have Monday till Sunday. And the reason why I'm so curious about how this will work for me is because of the layout, because horizontal layout has never worked for me when planning weekly. Um, but I'm not gonna plan weekly in this. And you'll have to watch one of my next videos to see how I am gonna use it. But I'm really excited. This is exactly how I hoped it would be. In the way that they do covers for the A6 and the A5 size, they don't do that. Uh, in the same way for the weeks, I also think it would be weird and bulky and not as nice. So you have a cover and they do this with different um, styles, like where they have prints on them. Um, but none of them really spoke to me. So I just bought the basic one and I bought one extra. This is just extra for this one um, because I thought I might need it. And it's like two or three euros. Um, so I wanted to have it just in case I needed it. If you're curious about the sizing, this cover on, no, it's not a cover on cover because this does not have a cover uh, on. This is just a clear cover for the weeks. So it has a pen loop and a secretarial pocket and a credit card pocket there. And then it has this one and you can rip it out and use it as a bookmark. It's part of this. So it becomes a hole if you take it out. Um, and I read on the Hobonichi website that the cover does fit the sneakers, um, but it will be a bit too tall. And that's probably because the cover on, yeah, exactly, there's overhang. So there's a bit on the top and more on the bottom. Um, so it's not a perfect fit and it's okay for me, I think. I'll find out more when I start using it. Also in the sides, um, you can see out here that there's like extra space. Um, but that also means that the pen comes, comes further away from the paper and that's probably nice. So it does fit the cover. You can use it, but it's not made for it. It's basically the thing. And I think the sneakers is just made to be used as it is. And it's very bendable. Just like the soft color, uh, covers. So I'll just put these in here so they don't get lost. I'll put this in here to find out what it is. Like that. That's all of the books. So now we can go into accessories. So, I'm like really curious if we're already like an hour into the video and I'm just now getting to the accessories. That would be very typical me. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> if you're curious what the Hobonichi store has of accessories in their store, um, keep on watching because this is just ridiculous. But I wanted, like, in Denmark, we don't have a lot of options. I, I have to buy the mind liners online anyway, and they were really cheap in the Hobonichi store. I have some washi tape here. Um, I don't think I'll even bother uh, opening these just for the sake of, I'll open this one, um, just for the sake of time. The reason why I bought these three is because we don't have a lot of options for really good quality washi tapes in Denmark. So I had the chance and they were cheap. I bought three washies. They're all by the brand MT and it's a collaboration with Hobonichi and it's from last year. I'll put those there. Okay, so where to begin? I think we're gonna take the pens last and then do a pen test. I think I'll start with this one. I got a small drawer pouch and my plan is to use it as a pen case. I found it really difficult to try and understand how this fabric would feel. 
I thought it would be plastic actually. Maybe it is, but it does not feel like plastic. It feels really nice. It feels like cotton actually. Um, so it has a big deep pocket on the back. A really nice zipper in like a brass golden tone color. And then it has this layout on the inside. So there's three pockets there, a zipper with elastic with three different spaces. Yeah. So I think you can actually fit, if I didn't have a cover on the sneaker weeks, I think it could fit in here. Um, one thing I'm a bit sad about is that this zipper does not go further up because I feel like it's really open here and it's closed down here. So I wish it went a bit further. But other than that, I'm really happy about this one and I'm excited to try it. I've been wanting to try a new style of pen case for some time, actually years, um, but have not bought any. Also because I don't really like shopping online. When I had the chance now, I wanted to grab it. Also because I found myself adding three or four of a certain accessory because I wanted it in all of my journals. I wanted to use the thing and I didn't want to have to like fiddle around with moving it from one to the other, especially because I don't really have two, I'm going to have several. So I would have to look through all of them. Um, so I thought if I, instead of keeping this stuff in the planners, in the covers, keep it mostly in here, if I use the accessory um, in multiple planners, then it will be way easier. So that was my reasoning behind buying this and I'm really excited to set it up and I hopefully will do it on video. I would love to do that and play with all of the accessories. Um, yeah, I'm planning to do a video where I really go into all of the accessories more in depth, especially the ones that are Hobonichi brand. Um, because I won't have time to do that here. I'm even now worried that my son is gonna wake up and disturb me. I wanted to buy both of these stamps. There's an open book like this, this one, and then they have the same stamp where the Hobonichi cover is closed. I wanted both of them, but I, I had to save. So I, um, I cut one of those off. I'm planning to use this to stamp when I have to set up a new week or a new month or something, then stamp this and then write whatever I have to set up. Yeah, so I got that. I, I actually, it's, I don't have any stamps. I don't use stamps, but it was a Hobonichi brand thing. And I thought of a functional way to use it. So I wanted to try it. Okay, let's do this one. This is like washi tape but it's more plastic than it's actually paper. So it comes like this. I don't know how I'll keep it because it's not packaged in a way where you can really fiddle around with it because it's really fragile. Um, actually, my first impression is a bit disappointing. It looked so pretty. It's like mimicking um, fabric or embroidery or something, but it's really clear from close up that it's just paper and plastic. But um. It's really pretty. I'm born in Norway and this kind of rem reminds me of um, Bunel, which is the national garment in Norway that we still use on festive occasions. Not that this is from there at all, but just like embroidery and colorful Good quality clothing reminds me of that. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. I'm gonna use it. 
I'm happy I only got one. I wanted to get all of them. Okay. Then I got a pack of my liners. They have three different sets on the store. And this is the only set that they had that I didn't already have. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into this one. Oh wow, there's a lot of accessories here. Oh, wow, ooh. Okay. I thought these would be like four times as big. Wow, okay, someone did not do her research well enough. I thought I researched everything. Um, these are sticky notes and uh, they're repositionable, really good for repositioning. I assume in the Hobonichi 2 since they're um, having them in the store and um, I want, yeah, I, I can explain how I want to use them when I talk about my actual setup. But I thought these would be like normal post-it size. So we'll see if I can use them for how I intended. Then I bought book darts. These are a bit bendable um, and uh, I want to use them for holding down uh, like the ends of your book. You know how if you have it in front of you in, when you're at the computer and your, your arm is constantly going over the page like that. I think these will be helpful in having like the ends of the book, like the pages will not crease like that. So I got three different stencils. Let's see if the last one is also here. It's not. Okay, well, maybe it's in another package. I bought the blue and the green one and the yellow one. They were the ones that I thought I would use. And these are the kind of item that I wanted to um, buy multiple of to have in several like so I could have one in each you know that I would use them um, because they're cheap and I think I don't know if they will last the entire year if you use them really well but um I did not I just constrained myself and only bought one then I bought these I bought them uh, they're like uh, tabs like post-its see-through post-it tabs that have glue on one side. And I bought them because they fit in the grid of the Hobonichi. And this was a bit expensive and they didn't really have it. They had two different designs. That's my child waking up. Um, they had two different designs and none of them spoke to me. So I just bought the one that I liked the best. And then I bought two refills because I need to use them for the entire year. I'll go out and get my son and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And the kid is okay. And he's watching Peppa Pig. And we'll move on. So, this is a notepad. I'll get this one out. I actually did not see that these uh, came with envelopes. Or well, I think I have seen at some point, but I didn't really realize that uh, that was this product. Um, but I, I wanted to use the notepad just to, um, it's really thin paper, so then I could paste it in on the pages and it was so cute. So I'm not going to use the envelopes for these, but they're nice to have. And then these ones I was really keen on getting. They are like see-through. Clear or like. Yeah, see-through. They're really, really thin, paper thin. Don't know if you'll be able to see it, but um, they are see-through and there are four different colors. The colors that I see on the screen are really accurate. Um, but of course they're see-through, so the colors are gonna be less opaque. Um, and you can write on them and highlight and they fit in the boxes in the Hobonichi. No, I mean, uh, 
in the cousin and I also think in the A6, like the original size. Um, and then it folds together like this and you can put it in the pockets. So I bought two of those. Um, I have several ways to use them thought out already. And then I bought two sets of um, ma masking patches. I think that it was called ma masking tape on the website. These are small dots, five millimeters each, um, which is a bit more than the grid is. They were really cheap, like two euros each. And there's several sheets in here I see. Wow, one, two, three, four, five sheets. So that's a lot of dots. They have them in a bigger size too, like a bigger dot. Then I bought this one. This is a weekly supplement. It's a weekly calendar in the same um, layout as the A5. It's just A6 size or it's a bit, it's a bit slimmer. So it goes into your A6 book. Yeah, I'll show you more when I set that up. So I'm just going to put that over here. Then I bought the tabs. I'm really curious to feel these. I was debating how many of these to get. Um, Cause I didn't know if I would like them myself. I might want to use them as part of the gifts, um, but you get two sheets and um, the tabs are different on the two sheets. So one is smaller than the other and, um, and the colors are corresponding to the colors in the cousin. Um, so I'm thinking still of what to do with these if I want to keep them myself or give them away. These ones are really exciting. This is yet another thing where I wanted to buy all the designs all at once without ever having had them <laughs> in my hand. They are strips of washi and I bought two different widths, <laughs> one slim and one um, normal size washi tape. So this is basically a strip. You can rip it off and you take the backing off and then it's like a washi tape, just a lot smaller. So I bought this design, which is really beautiful. I like the colors a lot. Ooh, I like the colors a lot. And uh, I like flowers, so that was easy. Some of them were sold out. The one I wanted the most was sold out. And then you can close it like some of those matches um, things and it can go into the um, pockets. So this one has a nice yellow design and then this one just has a lot of colors. And I actually thought you could use these. This has a blue and red and yellow design. No, blue, red and white, sorry, design on the front. I thought you could use these to tape, um, to tape these into the cousin. Yeah. Bam. That was that one pouch. I'm just gonna quickly put it back again. There's so many accessories that I want to keep track of them. Then let's do, oh this is heavy. That's probably the memo pads so they might be quick. So Hobonichi makes small thin notebooks. I kind of think of them as ideal for a traveler's notebook, even though I've never used a traveler's notebook myself. Um, and 
they do them in each size, so A6, A5, and the weeks. And I bought two in the A5 size, and then I bought three of the weeks and one of the A6. And um, I wanted some spare, and then I also have specific purposes for a lot of them. So the A5 ones come in a pack of two and the weeks and the A6 come in a pack of three and the A6 ones are, have perforated pages. So they're really easy to rip out. So I thought when that memo pad was done or I needed more space, I could use one of these notebooks to take out pages to use and um, paste in, paste in, washi strip in. <laughs> into my journals if I needed extra sp space. So I'm gonna show you these um, in more depth when I actually do my setup. So I'm gonna put these back in here. Yeah. Okay, two left. We'll take these with this one. So this is the yellow stencil I was talking about. This is made for the weeks. So it fits really nicely in the weeks um, like that. You can put it in the pocket here. It's really bendable. That's one thing to note about their stencils. So yeah, I think I'll use the things at the bottom and the ruler just as itself and also these boxes up here. But we'll see. And then I bought these um, stamp-like stickers. I think these two are my least favorite. But they are um, I'm just curious that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> I should be moving on. Wow they're, they're like washi tape. So they're like a bit see let me see if I can show you this without tearing it all the way out. okay like this. So they are um, like frosted. Yeah, it's really thin. I don't know what I was saying, sorry. It's just unexpected. I actually expected them to be clear, but I like this way more. I'm happy I got them. You can use them to do dates or something. If you have a weeks that you use for bullet journaling, these would be cute to um, just have a pop of color on a page and then note what date you're on. Yeah. Then I'm gonna gather all of the pencil boards because that is a story in and of itself. I'll do this one first. These are the A6 folder, folder set, folders and um, they're sized to fit inside the A6 journal, so I expect they will be a bit smaller, um, but I'm actually planning on using them. Either cut them down and use them in the weeks or uh, use them in my A5 journal, just as they are because I don't need anything bigger. Then we have the pencil boards, and I have all three sizes. One thing I found really difficult when ordering was trying to figure out how many pencil boards I needed. So I ended up with two for the weeks and just for the fun of it, I ordered two different colors. So it's the warm red, I think it's called, warm red and yellow. That is the new color of this year. And then I bought the warm gray and pink one. I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. Then I bought these three ones. So the blue with the yellow and the brown with the blue. And then these two are gifts. So 
so they will go up here and then I have five A5 pencil boards and this color was the only one available of the basic ones and I didn't like any of the other designs. I think my preferred pencil board would just be a really light color, like really light beige, almost white with a contrasting color that was not too dark, maybe a gray or a warm gray, just so you don't see the color through the paper. But this was all they had. And I didn't want to pay extra for a design that didn't really suit me. So I bought five of these and I'll see how I do with on only five. I do have three journals, so I plan on keeping one in the notebook and then two in the other ones, if I remember correctly. I'll show you when I set up everything. Okay, had to check on my son. I'm eating cookies with him. <laughs> okay. I think I'll open the pen that comes with the planner first. If I remember correctly now, this is called a Jetstream ballpoint pen. Let's just agree that I'm not the best at remembering names of items. Uni, this says uni. Okay, so the Jetstream uni ballpoint pen. That was a long name. It's 0 0.5 millimeters. Um, I hear some say in their videos that it's 0 0.38 and I think they make the mistake of assuming that because it writes really thin. And I think that's because if you're used to writing with a gel pen or a fine liner in the same size, so 0 0.5, it will look bigger than a ballpoint. Um, so it has three colors and you can see out here what colors are currently being used. So it has black, blue and red. So we'll test that out in a minute. And I have five of those and I plan on giving two of them away with the gifts. I'll wait with this one. Because I bought three refills for the Jetstream pen. So for this one. So I'm gonna save those for when I need it. And I'm gonna save these. Then I got, well, this is a fountain pen. It's a really cheap one. I don't expect great things, but I wanted to try it. I've never tried to write with a fountain pen and I just wanted to try out the technique. I know you're supposed to hold it in a specific way and there's different sizes of the nib, so it will be broader or slimmer. And I, as I said before, I write really small, so a fine tip would be probably my favorite. And I don't even know what this one is, but it was really cheap. And I bought extra ink to replace when it runs out. And I'm, I just wanted to try a fountain pen and see if it's even something for me. Yeah. That's basically what my thought process was. This was like less than three years, I think, these two together, or maybe four. And then I bought these two. They are Pentel Pula Man pens, and it's a really fine tip. They had it in black too. This is blue and red, but it was sold out. And I wanted the black one, so I couldn't have the black one, and I bought both the red and the blue. It's a really thin tip and I'm curious to see how it writes. So if I get really close and I twist them, can you see that I'm twisting them? They have like the white um, thing in the middle and then the red and the blue on the sides. I've never seen a pen being contrast constructed like that before. And then it's just, has some color on the tip 
I'm curious to see how, what will happen when I actually write with it, if the white tip will actually bend or if it's really hard. I have no idea. They were cheap and I saw a girl who unboxed them and said that she had really enjoyed them. So I wanted to try them. I'm planning on using color as a way of <laughs> color. I'm planning to use these as a way to get color into my planner without actually sticking anything in there that will bulk it up. So I thought I could use these for headers or yeah, basically headers. Then we have the food a pen left. And the food a pen is the, the free gift that comes with a Tetsuo, which is a Japanese planner with daily pages. So it comes with uh, the Cousin. It does not come with the Day Free because it, the Day Free doesn't have daily pages, but it comes with the Cousin and the Abac and it comes with the original and the, the English version A6. It also comes with the five year journal. Um, that's the only planner it comes with that is not one day at a page. It's a pencil sign pen. I am not into brush lettering just because I'm not that good at it and I haven't practiced. So I would probably not be the best to review this, <laughs> but I will try it out. And I like how it says handwrite to remind me that that's the theme of this year. And I'm so happy they chose that. It comes with haunchy paper and you get 10 sheets and you write on it vertically. <laughs> I always get vertically and, and horizontally confused. The last thing I'm gonna do is try this out in a planner. I think we'll go ahead and grab the cousin just because that's the most terrifying one to write in. Um, so then I can get over it. And I actually think I'll go to the last page because I don't think I'll use this ever. I'm really excited. I like the size of the pen. So I will write Amanda first without the pencil board and then I actually think I'll grab out one of the pencil boards and write it again with the pencil board and see what the difference is. So I just pulled out one of the A5 pencil boards. It actually feels thicker than I expected which is nice, I think. I'm only gonna have two of them in there, so it's not like it's gonna bulk it up a lot. So as you might be able to see, um, the color peeks through. If I take it out, you see how this is white and this is red. I would prefer to have a pencil board in the color of the paper so that didn't happen. Let's write with the blue one instead. So I'm just gonna write Amanda with the pencil boards under. There. So, yeah, I really feel the difference. You can feel the paper is uh, like, uh, can feel the mark of the pen from the first time, the black one and you can't with the blue one. And that's the purpose, one of the purposes of the pencil board. I'm really excited to share how I'm gonna set all of this up with you. And it's a nice pen. I'm happy I got the refills. So my thoughts are that I will do a video um, going more into detail with all of the accessories. I really wanted to watch that before I ordered um, someone like really <clears throat> showing the washi tape and the stamp and you know everything in action really explaining like just like you would show the actual book someone who showed the accessories because I there was so much and I didn't know what to choose and what not to choose so that is something I would like to see so that's something I'm gonna make I'm also planning on making I don't know if it will be one or several videos where I set up uh, all of the planners that I'm going to use and explain to you how I'm going to use them as a system and then probably make one video per planner and explain how exactly I'm, am I going to use this one. Yeah, so if you want to see me use all of this, 
definitely come back. Feel free to hit subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of this pretty thing, subscribe. I'm just going to get all of the stuff in here so you can see. Wow, that is a lot. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting and fun and took joy in it with me. Yeah, I will um, pack it all up again and pack it out when I have more time to film for you and set all of it up. I'm really excited. So yeah, if you want to see more of this, subscribe. Have a look out for when I upload. My other videos are planning videos. I'm really into functional planning. Um, I'm a stay-at-home stay mom. I have one child. Um, I work on the side, but I work from home and I, I decide myself when I'm working. So I have to plan everything and goal planning is really the way to go for me. So that's a bit about my other videos and what you can expect if you subscribe. Um, yeah. Thank you for spending some time with me. It was really nice. Please say hi in the comments if you're still here. That would be really cozy. Hyglit, as we say in Danish. Hyglit to say hi to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave you and I'll hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.